Hi, it's Jeremy, the Zoo Nerd. I'm here to talk a little bit about the different groups of animals. And today we're gonna to talk about just the vertebrates. That means all these animals have a backbone and by and large have other bony skeleton features uh, with a couple of little exceptions that are a little um, complicated. But the most simple of those groups, as far as science is concerned, are the fish. Uh, fish live in water. They have gills to breathe underwater. Most of them have fins for movement. And of course, they have some bones or cartilage skeletons. Uh, we'll get to more of that when we have an episode about sharks. Uh, next up are the amphibians. So amphibians also have a bony skeleton. They usually go through some changes in their lives. Those changes, uh, according to science, are called metamorphosis. We'll talk a little bit more about that on an episode that we do in the future about amphibians. But they would be smooth skinned and most live in or around water all their lives. And those would be things like frogs, toads, and salamanders and newts. The third group is reptiles. Reptiles are a fascinating group of organisms uh, they breathe air, so they don't have the gills that some of those others do or uh, find air in other ways. They breathe air with lungs. They are ectothermic. That's kind of a big word, but that remind, uh, that's true for both amphibians and fish as well. They rely on outside sources to keep their bodies warm. Um, that's why oftentimes on a sunny day you may see a reptile like a snake or a lizard sitting up on a rock to catch some rays. That's how they heat up. It's a real warm day, you're gonna find them hiding in the shade or in water, places that can be a little bit cooler. But uh, reptiles produce eggs for their babies, um, but there's a little exception to that in that some reptiles keep the eggs inside their body. They don't lay the eggs, but we'll talk more in depth about that on a day that we talk more about reptiles. And reptiles have scales covering their bodies. That's a pretty big one. Uh, the Fourth group is birds. Birds are fascinating animals. They breathe air, so they have lungs. They're warm-blooded. Ah, so that means that their bodies are able to regulate their own body temperature. And they also lay eggs, but all birds lay eggs, 100%. Um, they also have wings and have beaks. So those are two unique body features that all birds have. They have wings and beaks. Um, we'll talk more about what that entails and an episode about birds. Most birds also have hollow bones, which is pretty cool. And that's what makes flight possible for so many of them. It makes them lighter weight than other animals of their size. And all birds have feathers. Um, all birds have feathers, no other animals have feathers. If it has feathers, it's a bird. Our final group uh, is the mammals. Mammals, five main characteristics. They breathe air, so they have lungs, they have to be in an air environment to get some oxygen. Um, they're warm-blooded, so they can regulate their own body temperature. Most have live birth. Hmm. Two exceptions to that are the echidna and the platypus. Um, we'll hopefully do an episode on just those two species to talk about them. Pretty odd, unique animals. But everybody else uh, has live birth. All mammals also have hair or fur, at least during part of their lifetime. There's a few weird things that kind of their hair falls out and and stuff as they grow older. But they all have hair or fur for at least part of their life. And the most mammal thing that the mammals do, all mammals do it, is they produce milk for their young. Um, that's a really great way for them to feed their babies. And it's so important that the mammary gland is the name of the group of the, the animals. So mammals, mammary gland, producing milk. Um, at the end of it, so those are our five uh, big groups of vertebrates or animals with backbones. Um, again, those were fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. I'll be putting up some individual information cards on the uh, Facebook page so you can learn more about what each of those things are. It will be in writing there so you can review it. Um, and at the end of every episode, I like to give a shout out to a website where you can learn more information. Um, today's website is something called explore.org. Explore.org is a really cool webcam site that features webcams from all sorts of different environments around the world and you can see all sorts of amazing things on explore.org. So log in, 
and you can watch some bears, you can watch some fish, you can watch some elephants, all sorts of great stuff. So check it out, explore.org. Until then, hope you have fun, hope you learned something, and enjoy.